Hello and uh, welcome to this edition of uh, Faucet Demos. Today we are talking about the Faucet STN control plane for production networks. And uh, in this, we are going to talk about three demos. One is how you can deploy Faucet uh, OpenFlow uh, network in an existing uh, legacy network that has already been deployed. We are also be talking about how you can do NFE offloading functionality from an SDN controller. And uh, we will also show you as to how Faucet can be used to manage uh, multiple OpenFlow switches uh, within the same controller. Uh, this is a deployment that we have shown. We have a top of the rack switch out here and we have controllers that are working uh, to make sure that, that they can actually control the OpenFlow switches. One is a Zodiac uh, switch that we are going to be talking to, uh, OpenFlow switch. The other one is an Allied Telesis switch. The Allied Telesis switch also has a Wi-Fi access point so that you can actually connect to the machine, uh, to the network via OpenFlow. Um, and uh, one of the things that I really want to show you here is, if you can look at this, I have connected via OpenFlow Wi-Fi, 5 gigahertz. Um, that's the network. And I wanted to show you this, that I have connected and I have this IP address too, uh, which means to say that this is actually being deployed in an OpenFlow network. Um, that's That was what we wanted to really show as a network overlay but uh, it's very hard to demonstrate it um, otherwise um, you really have to deploy it yourself and make sure that it actually works and we can vouch for that it actually works uh, these are the equipment that are connected we have a, a zodiac fx OF switch that you can actually see right here uh, we have a top of the rack switch which you can see here we have the dns dhcp server uh, well, you can say that you can actually run the DNS and DHCP server right here in the uh, uh, on the router, but in some use cases where you might need multiple VLANs and you need more IP addresses, uh, we have specifically used IPv4 addressing uh, just to make sure that you can actually see multiple VLANs and you can uh, go all the way up to around 1,000, 2,000 IP addresses at this point in time, but you can add more. That is the reason as to why we have the DHCP server. We can also do IPv6, which we have not shown out here. Uh, this is the Allied Telesis OpenFlow switch. This is one switch, and you have the Zodiac switch, which is the other switch. And you can also see the OpenFlow Wi-Fi access point out here. Uh, we, we do have a few Raspberry Pis, which are connected um, as uh, um, basically hosts on the VLAN, which are connected to this so that you can actually get all these IP addresses. Uh, one other way uh, with that we, I can show you is, uh, I have a small script out here on my DHCP server, um, which basically tells us as to what kind of clients are actually connected uh, to this DHCP server on this OpenFlow network. And uh, you can actually see that the Raspberry Pis are also connected to this, okay? Um, and my machine is also connected to this, which is this 10.13. Uh, for some reason, it does not show the host name, but that's more or less a problem with my uh, DHCP server rather than anything else, but we do have it. You can actually see that the 10.13 10 is right here. Okay, with that said, uh, that's basically the network overlay. Uh, one of the other things that we were talking about just now was the NF offload functionality, basically showing you uh, how we can actually do, because these hosts are actually connected. My laptop is connected from this OpenFlow Wi-Fi access point, which is in turn connected to this OpenFlow switch, and which is going and routing all the traffic, and uh, the DHCP relay is actually running on this top of the rack switch, which basically tells the DNS, the DHCP server which is running on this to give me a lease, and that's how I'm able to get this. And if uh, this is going to the network, uh, which it is right now, you you are able to see all of that stuff. Okay, so uh, as I said, I have only configured our DHCP server to support IPv4 at this point in time, but we can actually do IPv6 and faucet SDN controller also supports it. Other kinds of NFE offload that are very common that people do are DNS, NTP, you can do firewalling and that kind of stuff, but we will get to all of those things at a different stage, but right now I just wanted to show you the DHC. That said, let's go and look at um, how we can actually do multiple o open flow switches. 
Um, one of the things that uh, we would want to do is that let us go and talk to the controller. Okay, so in this we have fossa.yaml file and then in this I have two uh, data paths. One is basically the Zodiac FX which is connected. The other one is the allied telesis. Okay, so I have all the data path IDs and everything that are connected. Uh, you can actually do uh, actually you can do grep uh, db id I think. Okay, if I'm able to type one log um, view faucet faucet dot log. Uh, I guess uh, let's do this for a minute. Okay, there we go. See, we can see all these DPIDs. Okay, so F minus I. Okay, so you can actually see that it is getting packets from this configuring DPID. Uh, let's do this then. Okay, so that's the thing to look for. Graph country in DPID. Okay, and I can see that I have one that is connected. Oh, I think I removed the power for the zodiac, and that is how it is not there. But when I connect it, it will come back up. Okay, so just to make sure that you can actually see. Okay, so this is. The easiest way you can do a grep on configuring DPID on the log file, and you can actually see which ones are connected. We are working to make sure that you can actually interrogate the controller a lot more easily in terms of which uh, um, switches are connected to the controller at that point in time. But right now, this is the best that we have. Um, so, with that said, um, we can actually talk to multiple open flow switches at the same time. And as you saw in the configuration, I guess Zodiac is manufactured by Northbound Networks. Allied Telesis uh, X930 is manufactured by Allied Telesis. We also support Open V Switch, Lagopus, uh, Haruba, HP Aruba 3810, and so on. Uh, the qualification criteria for an open flow switch that we can work with is basically that it needs to be completely open flow compliant. That means it must support multiple open flow 1.3 compliant we should say that which supports multiple tables and we are also adding group table support but um, that's coming up real shortly but the 1.3 is extremely important and it must expose all the tables um, and it should not have any custom pipelines because the uh, from faucet we actually drive software pipelines into the switch and what we are really looking for is a container open flow container uh, with multiple tables so that we can actually do all of these things and change rapidly on the switch. So with that said, uh, we come to the end of this demo. Um, you can go to all of these URLs and get more information on all of these things. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach us at uh, uh, fossetdev uh, uh, at openforestn.org. Thank you.